Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more PUBG. And of course, I'm Cinnabar. And this is one of those few that I feel like talking through, not because I need to, but just because I want to. And uh, yeah, why not? This is an Aaron Gall game. We came in third. Uh, spoiler alert! In in the beginning. But this was one of those high kill game for me. Uh, if you can't, I can't show you this. Obviously, but I'm making air quotes there when I say high kill. You know, four isn't exactly what I call on a murder spree, you know, Colin Shroud or, you know, Choco Taco or Wacky Jackie or any of those guys, you know, Dr. Suspect, no, it's not one of those. But for me, I'm lucky to see five kills and I consider myself on a murder streak. Five kills for them is, eh, it's taking very easy today. It's their average, you know, my average is like, Maybe one to one on a good day. So that's just the point. The point is, uh, Aaron Gall here. We start off with things that I would need later on, to be honest. The things I'd need later on and I didn't have. And I got rid of them because I didn't think I was going to get them, to be frank. Uh, which was an extended mag. Really, that's about. And a light grip, but I never used a light grip. I didn't, I didn't get uh, something that used a light grip. But here we are, here flying around in planes. Actually, I also found a gas can at some point in the future here. I, I don't know when. I don't found a gas can, though. Some, somewhere south of shooting range, I think. Where, where the hell I was. So we're going to end, actually, hilariously, back around here near Gerka. Uh, just, a, you know, to the northwest. West of, west of the Erangal Mountains. And we decided to jump to a random spot on the map. Somewhere close-ish to Pachinki. You know, it was nice to hear that there's people around uh, for murder. Um, this is this is a long... I, I noticed this with the new patch that you fall a lot slower from the higher maps. Like, seriously slow. Uh, I think the game before this, or actually it might have been this game as well, I saw, t I went to two airdrops. One of them, well both of them were looted, but one of them I killed the guy who looted it and I didn't take any shit off his body because there was a sniper at that point and I was not, and I didn't feel like any shot. This is also one of those games where it's a head poppers game for one specific weapon, and ladies and gentlemen, it's the Car 98. And you know what? Since, since we're talking about the update, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it now. I don't like these new weapon sounds. Uh, uh, some of them I do, some of them I don't. Car 98 was perfectly fine before. Um, Scar, yeah, that's all right. That's that's a bit better. But in general, is uh, you know, what I'm saying? Not, not not. Have I heard better? Sure, shit, yes. Have I heard worse? Sure, shit, yes. I didn't mean to pull the mic there. But it's what it is, you know what I mean? It's it's what I it's so interesting. Here I'll grab a DP and yeah I'm iron sighting this for way too long in the game by the way. Now I'm also gonna bring up something else kinda controversial, and that's the you know, grabbing a pistol. You know you look at serious players, they don't grab pistols and the ammo associated for it. For obvious reasons. It's, it's an extra thing I need to get yeah, it is. But that's if you're carrying three different types of ammo, you know what I mean? If you want to run an SLR as, you know, your secondary, you grab an M16 as your primary, or SCAR, and, you know, a pistol, whether it be um, uh, the R45 or, you know, a P92. It's going to take up a lot more space, sure, technically. But this is where you need to think about your grand strategy. I don't know if there was anybody here, so I was just rather play it safe. This is where I get my love child of the Car 98. Oh, I love the Car 98, seriously, it's so good. Anyways, uh, that, that quickly aside. I'm just looting here, and I could have grabbed the R for, uh, R1895. As much as I love the Nagant, I'm sorry, I don't I don't feel like playing the Nagant game today. <laughs> Cause those were one of those times where it's like, I have to just meme it. Alright boys! Gotcha! <clears throat> okay, meme that. <clears throat>
missed. Did I think he's? I think he's somewhere around fifty. <laughs> fighting at forty, fighting at like sixty meters distance. He's somewhere around fifty. Ah, oh, we got some fucking amazing weapon. I love it. It's so practically useless, but it is so practically amazing. This is one of the first times where I actually could use a DP, which uh, I, I don't know about. Not gonna lie. Have I used the DP before? Yes. Am I good at it? No. But DP is pretty good here. Pretty good here. Uh, that was the drop. That was the first drop I saw, and that I eventually did uh, figure out what was in there. Uh, later on, you're gonna see the evidence of how I figured out what was in there. But I'll tell you now, there were 60 rounds of 556, five, and normally that and. Knowing that airdrops only give you two five five six weapons, Good. you can it's a toss up between one or the other. But I n do know it. normally that the airdrop will give you one um uh, one hundred round packet of five five six and then a thirty. Uh, if you get an M two four nine, and it'll give you the couple of thirty rounders uh, for an AUG. But later on, you're going to hear... Oh, no, it's an M24. Uh, we figured out the mystery. By the way, headshot the guy with the D... With, headshot the guy while moving in a car with the DP. I was stationary. He was moving. And I was behind a tree because the sniper on the hill that was trying to shoot at the guy who I was shooting at earlier. But I also got a headshot with the guy with the car on the D8 on. It's, it, was, it was one of those deals. I not know what I said there. I think I was just thinking out loud again. I'm also, I was also watching uh, memes on YouTube while I'm doing this. That's what I do on a lot of my videos. You'll hear things in the background for this reason. More so out of, uh, I'm getting bored. Cause, as you can see, riveting footage. Mm. Testimony. This it's uh yeah to be honest i know what i was saying there and that's essentially just how am i allowed to run in the open ass fields on top of hills i am a registered nurse and uh yeah i finally by the way i'm finally hearing what my mic legit sounds like and yeah no it does clip a lot because I, I guess I do have too high. So, that's one of those things that we're going to figure out later on. If you if you know me and how I edit, you'll know that, uh, that I don't like doing that voice modulation thing, number one. And number two, that whenever I'm doing voiceover work like this, it maxes out my mic for some reason. Or it, ma or it picks up every single... Sound in known to humanity in this thing, so uh, yeah. That's why I also have to hear the gameplay in there in the recording as well, but uh, it's there's nothing I can do on that one. If I got louder, it's because I moved closer to the mic. And there we have it a sight on it. Originally, <laughs> I was planning on just this is my bunker, this is my outhouse, or many. Outpost houses like this, but this one's mine. And I will gun you down. What the hell's in the background, actually? Oh, Jesus. You not, you could seriously hear it in there. Already. I think it was that loud. I guess I was wrong. Jesus. If you can't tell, this is the first time I've actually done this new setting, which. If you're wondering, okay. is all the way down, uh, is my my mic uh, sensitivity is? It's all the way down, and the headset is currently off my head on the table, which is uh, so this is what I'm gonna my cubit out. Uh, okay. No, it's, it's I mean it's less than a cubit, right? Is it? Yeah, it's about a, it's about my cubit away, which is I think something like. 15 ish, 16 ish inches away. It's been, it's been a while since I've measured my cubit. 
And if you're wondering what the hell that is, uh, that's from your middle finger to the bend in your elbow. That's cubit. And you have to be holding it straight up. Can't be like doing a my boy oh, hand with it. Oh yeah, this is about the time when I was trying to pick up oh. some more ammo or something like that. Where I realized, Jesus Christ, on a bike do I have a oh, lot of bandages. And yeah, I eventually rectified that situation, but I had a lot of bandages. 35 is a lot. I was doing that just to find out where the zone is. Again, back to outpost building to camp. And the best part is, it's camping through the door, <laughs> looking down. Uh, when we get to the next circle, when we get to the road, uh, some, uh, uh, I'm going to see something. I'm going I'm to do a little bit of judicial review. And I just really, because I want to know where the hell was he. You know what I mean? There's there's a sniper and he's so hidden. And I mean I did kill him obviously, because I made it to third and he was sending him my way. And this is roughly yeah, this is like phase two or phase three zone that I killed this guy. At. I don't know which one. Yeah, but all my kills came rather late in the thing. And here's me expecting him to get out. That's why I got I got ready. I was like, no, he's leaving. I meant for that to be one tick, but I never, but I didn't take my finger off the trigger fast enough. That was a real by waiting, right? That's oh. nice, perfect team. Don't know where the hell he went. Don't know who that Lee was. You know what I wish uh, PUBG actually let you do? You looked through the replay in uh, which one calls it? In that time, you know, like uh, that to have on PC, you can double check mm -hmm. your. You can double check. I don't know if I want to. Uh, who killed you? And you can see the entire game in review. Uh, from different people's perspectives. You know what? I wish they would bring that uh, function to console because there are sometimes, like, even when you kind of see with the death cam, it's like, so that's how you got me, but I still want to know how the hell did you cut, how the hell did you get me? Because it's all well and good to see, you know, about the first 30 seconds to get to me, but it's like, I knew where you were, and you popped up completely on the other side, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you, you get those kinds of games where it's like, the guy just quote unquote teleports to a, a different position and you were like legit watching and listening and carefully looking and I, especially on Sanok because fucking snakes over there man oh by the way uh, speaking of small maps I'm, I will I, I don't have footage of it but I have been playing on uh, Kakarin the uh, new 2x2 it legitimately is a 15 minute map. Okay, currently, as I'm, as I'm running through this, we are at the about 14 minute 20 second, or 10 second, I should say, uh, mark in me talking. And legitimately, there is one game of Kakara that has just ended. Legitimately. Because, you know, it's on average about 15 minutes, I would say. Because mine are just yeah, over, there. so I'm adding a little bit of just mean, under. So, you know, him. average is out roughly 15 minutes. And, uh, yeah, this is the part I was talking about. I hear him. I don't know where he is, but I hear him. Sniper. Uh, I was wrong about him being in, in this direction, by the way. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see that soon enough. Okay, we've officially hit the 15 minute mark. Yeah, no, definitely now there's officially a game of Kakarin in the final two and it's ending very soon. But 
the thing with it is, the thing with it is, I like a car. It's a small man. The, the re because it's so small, that literally means you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, so a certain extent, you can't run either, because it's a lot of mountains. I mean, it's supposed to be like around Morocco, you know, the western coasts of the of the western Mediterranean coastlines, or you know, those regions around there. So, facing the Atlantic side. And the water just over there it's is decently mountainous. But it's like Damn bro I I thought Sandhawk was kinda hilly because of all the crazy dips in, in elevation. And you know, we see a giant mountain right there in the background of Erangal. And Lord knows Miramar got like hills and shit. But I I feel like legitimately the desert maps are the hill maps. It's like do you need to run around on some hills? Oh my god, you can actually see him from right there. Holy shit. He was in the bush. Yeah, after he moved out the way, I noticed him. And yeah, I just took his place. This is the moment when I realize, oh shit, I have a lot of meds. Or I have a lot of band-aids. Oh, I want to get rid of them all because, you know, obviously what happens when you need them. Jesus. Yeah, I got rid of the extended mag. <laughs> and I picked up the suppressor and... Uh, two times scope for my car 98. Which, by the way, two times is great as a low power scope. I use it, as you can tell, I can use it a lot as my low power. More than a red dot. But the thing is, the thing is, car uh, two times is a lot of mag. It's kind of still on the low end of magnification, but that still is like terrifying amounts of very high thing. Secondly, and I think the one that's a little bit more important is that really, if you're playing Karin, Kakarin, so I need to I need to remember there's actually another there's a, there's a K before it. There's another. It's K A R A K I N. So Ka Ra. Kin. Karakin, there it is. There's the next box. Like this box. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's gonna it's gonna change to Karen. I don't care. When you're playing on Karen, I just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah fuck. Um. <laughs> um. Actually, no. I'm not gonna. I don't know the words I want to say here because I'm stupid. Here's that first box, the first box that landed in the game. Oh. Og. Ask me the Og. It's not from. Oh. You, they don't. Oh, it might be. Okay, so it's either an Og or a. Which one calls it? Or a M24. Just been quiet so that hopefully the background kicks in. It's kind of weird when a uh, when an I got an umbrella as soon as I can fucking find one. That's that's an M24. There it is. Anyways, it's kind of weird when a uh, when an ump is suppressed, because it's very quiet near it, and then it quote unquote sonic booms much further away. 
that makes sense. And the weirdest thing is, is like you, you you put suppressed ammo through, or you put you know pistol ammo through a suppressor. It does legitimately make it decently quiet. Past two hundred yards or past two hundred meters, it is legitimately silent. Oh, to be honest, at one hundred meters, it's it's silent. Ninety is when you can barely just hear it. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but whenever you fire an uh ump, it go it's quiet then loud then quiet again. I don't know what it is. Some literally that all that beautiful tree cover I had. Yeah, time to go back to it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where I get my failure. The Groza. Cause I don't play enough with it. And yeah, it's the same. It's the same as the same as the same as the same. But here's the thing, it's not. That's why I think I'm also pretty bad with the uh, QBZ, because every other gun, there, I mean, yeah, there's a bore offset, you know, it's like where I'm looking and where I'm shooting aren't the same place, sure, but the thing is, um, unless you're using a pistol or an SMG, normally they're basically on the barrel anyways, or, you know, it's less than an inch kind of difference. Yeah, he was doing something I was doing earlier. Not getting around. Uh. Yeah, he just stood still. I I was wild spraying at that a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to find this, this shooter up there instead of hitting the guy who was on the thing, but... Yeah, I saw no... I mean, yeah, it wasn't moving fast, but still. The fact that I could hit him is, is impressive to me. It's not like I gunned him down and he was going, you know, top speed, fair enough. Uh, if, if I'm going to pick up from where I left off in the top of the thing. But still, it's something. Yeah, I see this guy. I'm low. I know I'm low. He's a dot up there, man, I tell you. I think fucking God grows up. Okay, so we're back back to the point of why I think I'm so bad with the grows up. It's 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 the same kind of reason I think with the uh, with the which calls it as well with the QBZ and it's simply because the sights are on top of the carry handle and I know what you're gonna say but the M16A4 also has it on top of the carry handle and I'm saying yes right but here's the thing though. The rear sight is on the back, okay? The rear sight is on the back of it. And it is appropriate, and the front sight is appropriately lifted up to do so, uh, to, you know, get a proper level sight picture. And I think, and that's what it is. And the QBZ, don't, then you should say, it's the same thing, just, you know, Made for the Chinese government. And here's the thing, no. Because while the site is 
pretty much a car well it is kind of a carbon copy in conception and I say like in conception in the broadest sense of they're both 762 and they both fire uh, which one calls it and they both have carry handle rear sights and um, uh, yeah I just lit up a corpse man I just lit up a fucking corpse because I, I really couldn't tell is he, is he alive or is he dead so here's me just lighting up a corpse man it's, it's fantastic uh, but that's besides the point I eventually just gave up. It's like, fuck it. I don't know. I'm not questioning it. Uh, <laughs> but that's, again, besides the point, by the point. Uh, so, again, broadest conceptions. Both 5.56, five, five, I see that guy, and you're about to see another beautiful thing. A very beautiful thing. Just. Dink! 2, 3, 2, with the car 98. Ooh, that's good. Oh, 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 oh. There's a reason why this is one of. This is a reason why this is my favorite sniper, by the way. There's a very good reason. Uh, but again, getting sidetracked. So, the Groza and the uh, QBZ have that same kind of thing of. Or the M16, the sights are level, and they're above the, you know, barrel. The thing is, the M16, you can't shoot the barrier because my, because when you add a sight on top of it, notice, the sight isn't on top of the carry handle. The carry handle gets removed, and then your sight becomes your standard. On the Groza and the QBZ, it goes on top, and that's why. I don't say Groza, while it is difficult, you can do. And Iron Sight, you know, uh, QBZ, you can do. And it's a little bit, and it's a lot more, and it's a lot easier than Iron Sight Groza. You know, it's the same as Iron Sight QBU, but that's, that's slightly picking in the reads here. You know what I'm not doing in picking, uh, is try I'm trying to pick in the reeds. I mean, I guess I am already. Yeah, I saw him in the, just before the smoke got too thick, but he couldn't see me. Uh, but, here's the thing though. It, this is seriously very important. The fact that it's on top of the carry handle is kind of the problem because I can live with the Groza and the QBZ having sights you know that are above the and on about the camera handle fair enough but if you put you know an external sight like say I put on I'm gonna put on a red dot for you know close range oh yeah this is where I think it I can Every rim, hit everything but him. And yeah, since there's so few people left, might as well watch, right? Cause it, it fires so fast. It's heavy. I gotta admit, the kid, the kid was pretty good on this one. And he did the Fortnite strat. Uh, by the way, who got the last kill right there? Uh, yeah, he he wins the entire thing. I report him for griefing because, my boy, you don't dance on him, no. That's griefing right there. One of these days, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the training range, and I'm just gonna talk, or I'm just gonna record background filler footage. And to be honest, I'm, my actually just keep it around as when you need to talk. That might be the actual video file, like call it here on the PS4, but I, I think I need to. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna explain all this bullshit, and in, in there, and I'll probably to illustrate my point. Maybe go to quote unquote live feed, which just means oh, I recorded what the hell I was talking about. Might do that after this, to be honest. But 
Well, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save this argument for later on, okay? I'll save it for later on. The game was get a good Iron Bay with Groza because I forgot how to use, and plus I never get it anyways. Seriously, whenever I get, whenever I go to a crate, it's always one of these two. It's either I get me a Mark 14, or I get me an AUG. Ever so often, ever so often, I do get an M249. And every so often, I do find a whatchamacallit. I do find a, uh, who's his face, you know? AWM, there it is. And the reason I've been getting a lot of DP, to be honest, as well. But that's that's a tale for another day. Anyways, we are coming to the end of this, so I'm just gonna quickly do a. Uh... No. Oh, I got to six. No. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, nothing in this world is without sin.